What's up guys, it's Toy Collector B, B more. How you guys doing today? Just want to do a video on, I just stopped at Target and got a uh, toy haul. So here we go at Target. This is what we got going on right now. They just came out with some new Masters of the Universe. Right? So here we have, too bad, so sad. Comes with the little clubs, comes with the arms. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. So, too bad from Eternia. We got once the respective captains of. You know, well, yeah, no, I'm gonna read it. I was stopped for a minute. I was like, maybe I shouldn't read this, but sure, why not? So it says, too bad. Once the respective captains of competing mercenary ships, Tavar and Badra, both had their eyes on the legendary treasure of the Horde Prime. The treasure, however, came with a curse. It fused the rival captains together, who now terrorized New Eternia as Too Bad. With his combined knowledge, Too Bad could rule the universe, if it weren't also for his combined ego. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as you can see, they got Evil in, some bat thing on her head, Frosta, Roboto, and Stratos. I want Roboto, man. I can't wait for that one. Anyways, I love this one. I love the old one. The only thing I didn't like about it was, you know, of course, it only did this right here. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. But I always loved the character, though. Uh, see my Dragon Ball. I'm going all Dragon Ball today. Ah, uh, Vegeta. Anyways, so there you have it. There's one. And uh, and I also found Frosta. Frosta. Or should I say Disney Princess? Anyways, Princess of Power. Frosta, Ice Princess of Etheria. I don't know if it's Etheria or Etheria or Etheria. I don't know. How, I'm thinking Etheria. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I've seen um, She-Ra. But, you know, hey, I used to love it. So, anyways. From within her stronghold of Castle Chill. Batman just chill. I mean, yeah. Could they be more original? Frosta rules as Queen Mackenzie of the Kingdom of Snows High in Etheria. is what we're going to say. Northern Mountains. Though preceded by her reputation as Etheria's Ice Princess, Frosta is a kind, loyal, and benevolent ruler, strong both of will and power. She brought peace to her kingdom and became one of She-Ra's most powerful allies. I know it's like Equestria and Eternia and all that, so I'm thinking it's Etheria. I can't remember. But anyways, this is pretty cool. We got some cool art here. I love this. She should fight, um, oh look, she's got a little, little He-Man, little Stacky. Focus. Anyways, does she have a cousin He-Man? Maybe. Who doesn't, right? Am I right? <laughs> she needs to get with, um, all the other ice people. Maybe I should do that with my toys. I should put all, like, the ice people together, the fire people together, the, you know, like, earth, wind, and fire, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so there you have it. There's that one. Then also, they're finally coming out with some more G.I. Joe. This has been out for a minute, but this is new to me at Target. So I got David L. Bazooka. Tiger Force. Why is my phone so blurry? Maybe I should clean it. Does that help? Anyways, as you can see, he's got a, uh, he's got a boot bag here that he carries all his bazooka stuff in. And honestly, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or not. Uh, if you can see it, it looks like the bazooka is broken on the top there. That's not good. Maybe it's supposed to do that. I don't know. But anyways, um, one thing about G.I. Joe, I'm loving the new 6 inch. Definitely. <laughs> anyways, we won't go there. But I'm loving the new 6 inch G.I. Joe figures. Right, but what I don't like it beep, 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 they got all this room for all this and they stick all these things up here that mean nothing. Here's a thought just like these put a bio on them, man. I mean, if you've been around the block, you know who Bazooka is, but you know, it's been a long time. Sometimes I forget who all there's so many GI Joes, I forget some of their stories. It would be nice to have a background explaining, you know, I mean, why, why do this? This makes no sense to me. Uh, is this supposed to be like a game? I don't understand. All the backs of the G.I. Joes, they, you know, they don't make a whole lot of sense. But at least they do got some art, so that's cool. 
on the sides. Bazooka Joe. Just play. Katzenbogen. I did not know his last name was David L. Katzenbogen. Because of Bogen. I'm from Mother Rush. Anyways, yeah, so there you have Bazooka. Then I also found a really cool Knuckles flocked and we're the target.com this one's really cool if you're a fan of sonic i don't know if you can see he's got like lego stuff on his feet which i know that's probably not what it's supposed to be like but it just looks like legos to me it looks really cool but yeah he's a, he's a cool character i love the flock stuff i love when they do anything flocked um but anyway so yeah there you have it the flocked and then of course even though i have some of these Tika! Tee 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 tee! Jawa! But look, this is why I got him. Boop. Focus. Focus. Anyways, he was only $8.39. Tika ka tika! Tika tika! And another thing, that's another thing with Star Wars, right? So, you know, they got some cool art. Oh, I guess only on that side. But, so you have this, you turn it over, you see Tika. Jawa and you're like, oh, it's a biopic and then you start reading Obi-Wan Kenobi is set years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker turned Sith Lord Darth Vader Nothing to do with Jawas nothing Why do they do that? They do that in all Star Wars. Like, they're like, oh, you got this character, and you're like, you know, like, like the androids. I don't know a lot of the androids. Um, I mean, I know the androids, but, you know, you don't know the backgrounds or, the, or whatever. Maybe they don't even have them. That's why they do that. Who knows? Because a lot of characters are just, like, thrown in there, and they don't really have a background story. But, I mean, come on. If you're going to make an action figure, like, especially when you have, like, battle droids, and you have, like, the, the mercenaries and stuff like that, and you turn it around, it shows a picture of them, and it shows their name, you're like, oh... Who is this guy? And you read it, and it's like, Star Wars, Obi-Wan, blah, blah, basic bullcrap. And it's like, come on. You couldn't put a biopic on there? What was the point of that? So, anyways. So, yeah, $8.39. Why not? And there you have it, people. That is my Target toy find for today. And I saw on the websites, I haven't seen them yet at my couple Targets that I've been to um, in my area. But I have seen them at some targets online. Uh, new Ninja Turtles. It's like old school, but you know, new retro, I should say. Ninja Turtles came out. And some more um, G.I. Joe. There's like um, the Australian dude. I can't think of his name right now. I can't think of their names. There's so many. But they came out with, I think it's like, and see, that's the other thing with this box. You know, it, okay. This is why this is done right. It has a biopic and it tells you what's coming out the same time what to look forward to all that good stuff right biopic art what's going out what's coming up you know even on pops pops they do oh look you can get these guys you know what i mean star wars negative gi joe negative tell me who else i can get oh i did see duke um at target on a motorcycle it's a newer one, not the older one. It's um, but anyways, uh, he was like forty something dollars. Sorry, Duke, man, nothing but love, but it's just too much. So um, I do need to give him eventually, just because I have um the Baron, the Baroness with the motorcycle and Snake Eyes with the motorcycle. So I mean, I need Duke with the motorcycle. But he was up there, but I don't want to pay no forty something dollars for him. I know he'll go up in price and blah 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 blah. But um, like I remember, I saw Dukes everywhere, all the time. And so I was like, eh, I don't want to, I didn't really like the look of Duke. I mean, it's Duke, you know what I mean? Like, but still, like, I was like, eh, not that big a deal. He's everywhere. I can get him whenever. Now you can't find him. And now he's worth, like, $20 more than what he started out with. And I'm like, what the heck? Everybody had Duke. How did he become so popular? So anyways, um, so that's another reason why I'm snagging these is because all these prices keep going up and going up and going up. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So who knew, you know? But anywho, so there you have it. That's my target find. And uh, keep on shopping, collectors and hunters. Let the hunt begin. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Send me some comments. Um, if there's something I can review, like actually full detail, 
I can figure it out for you or maybe I can try to I already have something that I need to review for you or whatever like I said just let me know toy collect B you guys have a great one happy hunting